Hello and welcome to Southern Maine Community College. My name is Jason Sosha. I'm the Director of Residence Life and Student Involvement. We're excited to be welcoming students back to housing for fall of 2021. This video is to help explain the process for applying to housing, as well as hopefully answer some of the questions you may have about what it's like living on campus here at SMCC. In the second half of the video, we'll be doing a video tour of the residence halls to get a sense of what the rooms, standard rooms look like in all three of our residence halls. How do you apply? The first step is you need to be registered for classes. You need to be taking 12 credits or more to be eligible for housing. You need to have all your immunizations in, and that does include the COVID-19 vaccine this year. That is new this year. Move-in day is Friday, August 27th, and you'll need to be made sure that before you move on to campus, you're at least 14 days out from your final dose of your vaccination. Once you've signed up for classes, you can log into the portal. And under the My Main Guide, there's a Student Life section. If you navigate to that area and look in the quick links at the top, you'll see a housing application link. Click that and it'll walk you through the application process. It's important to know that we are going to prioritize housing assignments based on students with face-to-face -face classes. So if you have a face-to-face -face class in South Portland, your priority housing assignment will be South Portland. If you have a face-to-face -face class in Brunswick, your priority for housing will be Brunswick. We will be uh, housing students, um, and that will include also online students, but priority will go first to our face-to-face -face students. And the last thing you need to know when you're filling out your housing application is you will have to pay a $100 housing deposit. You can do that right from the app or by calling our main office Students living in South Portland are on the meal plan. Um, you have some options to choose from. Uh, by default, you're on what's called the Block 159 plan, or basically it means every week you have 10 meal swipes that you can use. That refreshes at the beginning of the next week. Um, and you can use that meal swipe to swipe in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, your choice, um, in the Ocean View Dining Hall. That's in South Portland. Uh, that 10 meal plan comes with $200 of flex cash. Flex cash is cash that you can use at any of our dining kiosks. So for example, in South Portland, we have the Seawolves Cafe. Uh, and then up in Brunswick, we have the Landing Cafe. You can use your flex cash to buy kind of on the go items uh, from those facilities or to pay for a meal if you run out of meals in a given week. Whatever amount of flex cash, if you choose a meal plan that has flex cash, that's for the semester. The other thing that's important to know is if you have any dietary concerns, we really encourage you to speak with our staff in Sodexo. They're more than happy to help you work through that and customize meal options so that way you can make the most of your meal plan. Um, we really encourage students to do that. It's not a burden at all. Uh, we're here to help and serve, and so please don't, don't hesitate to reach out uh, and ask about that. There's so much more that we can cover, uh, but we know you probably want to take a look at the rooms. So at this time, what we're going to do is we're going to transition the film into a quick tour of the residence hall so you can see what the spaces are and what's provided in each of our three residence halls on the two campuses.
we have a new living learning community coming up for this fall. It's focused on leadership. We're encouraging students who are interested in getting engaged, getting involved on campus, growing and developing your leadership skills to sign up for this learning community. Students in this learning community will live together in the residence hall on the same floor, and they'll be taking a freshman interest group class, what a FIGS class. Uh, all students at SMCC are required to take a FIGS class throughout uh, in their first year. And so this is a specially tailored FIGS class focused on the theme of leadership. If you're interested in joining that learning community, you can apply uh, at the time that you're filling out your housing application, or if you've already applied for housing, you can reach out to us at reslife at smccme.edu and let us know that you're interested and we can put your application in for that learning community. Class for the residential learning community is on Tuesdays from 1 to 3 p.m. for the first eight weeks. We have a resident assistant staff. Those are your peer leaders who will be uh, on the floor. They're there to help you in your experience and help build community. And each of our residence halls has a professional live-in staff member. That's your resident director. They're there to help you and answer questions. And it's a great resource for you while you're in housing. We are excited, as I said, to be transitioning back to campus in a more traditional sense for the fall. We're excited for that opportunity. There's gonna be programs and events and activities happening in the lobbies and lounges and on the floors. We look forward to meeting you in the fall.